Hi, this is Ms. Freifeld, and I want to talk to you today about dot plots and frequency tables. Let's say we needed to gather some data. We asked 25 students to help us. We give each one a dice with the numbers 1 through 9. They each roll the dice once and call out their number. This is what a frequency table we could make would look like. So here you have the number that was rolled. And this is how many people rolled that number. These are called tally marks. They could be sticks, they could be check marks, anything you want. And then the frequency, you just add up the tally marks, tells you how often someone rolled a one. How often did someone roll a two? Well, a dot plot is another way to show data. Using the numbers that the students rolled on their dice, we can make a dot plot that looks like this one. Again, we can see that the number five was rolled by one, two, three, four, five, six students. The number three was rolled by four students. Both of these are ways of representing the data. Let's try to answer some questions. During a health class, the students reported the number of times they ate fast food last month. Okay, there were four students that never ate fast food. There were five students that they ate out one time. Seven of the students, consider each one of these dots a person. Seven of these students ate fast food three times last month. So how many students ate fast food more than twice? Well, these people didn't eat fast food at all. These people ate once. Nobody ate twice, but all of these people ate fast food more than twice. And if you add seven plus three plus one plus five, you would have 15 students ate fast food more than twice. How many students ate fast food only one time. Well, these people ate fast food only one time, and there's five of them. Here's our next one. The coach of the academic bowl recorded the scores in a trivia game to determine who would represent the school at the regional composition. And these are the scores of the trivial game. So this person scored a five, and this person scored five, and this person scored five. This one scored an eight, and you can see a total of seven students scored eight. A total of four students scored a 10. Let's answer some questions. How many students scored greater than or equal to eight? Well, here's the number eight. These students scored eight, these scored greater than eight, also greater than eight. So you would add up seven plus three plus four plus two, because all of these students scored greater than or equal to eight, and that's 16 students. What is the range in the set of data? Well, remember the range is when you take the largest number, which is 11, and you subtract the smallest number, which is five, and the difference is six. So the range in that set of data is six. What is the mode in the set of data? Well, the mode is the number that's listed the most, and you can see that the, the score for eight was listed more times than all the rest. So the mode in this set of data is eight. Good job.